What is up, guys? Ben here with Stringer Bridge Farm. And I've got to tell you, I am some glad to be back on my normal work schedule. So I'm going to start rotating these cows and I'll show you what we got going on. First things first, let's get these cows moved to some fresh grass. And a bull. Look at him, he is looking good. And of course we got a straggler. Come on through, bud. So if you guys remember, we had that really bad drought. You're probably sick of hearing me say that, uh, which ended up making it to where our winter grasses got planted really late. And so we really didn't have any winter grazing on our winter grasses. Uh, but now that spring has kind of come around, we've got some pretty decent growth and I am finally able to put these cows on some green grass. So they've been on it for a few weeks now. This is uh, probably the second time that I'm rotating them through all the pastures, but uh, I had been working those nights. So most of what I was doing was in the dark. So I really wasn't able to film and share it with you guys. Uh, but now that I'm back on my normal schedule, uh, we can kind of get back to uh, keeping you guys informed of what we have on. So all of our calves are actually doing really really well some of our mama cows uh did lose some condition in the winter they were obviously nursing some pretty big calves we had really bad drought conditions we had low quality hay uh, so some of our cows like this one uh, definitely lost some condition the calves they actually look really well um and they're really just blowing up right now being on all this fresh green grass so for now everything is looking up pretty well and this ryegrass and clover stuff, I mean, you're talking uh, probably at least in the teens on protein levels. So for the next few months, we should be in really good shape uh, for putting some weight on these cows. I actually have an animal out in my pasture. I think it's a hog. I don't know if you guys can see it right through the trees there. Uh, there's a little black dot. I just saw it move. It walked out into that spot. I might go get my pistol and see if we can uh, sneak up on it if it's a hog. But anyway, back to the cows. So we're grazing some good grass. Uh, probably this coming weekend, I'm gonna sort them. We're gonna do all of our vaccinations. We're gonna castrate bull calves. We'll work all the, the whole herd and get them taken care of. Uh, and then also we have the crawfish pond. I went and checked it. We're starting to get some crawfish showing up in it. But when it comes to these cows, uh, one of the biggest fears I have, because I've actually had an issue from it before, is I've got a couple of cows that calved early last year and bred back early. And one of the biggest things you gotta watch when you're doing these rotational grazing is when these cows first drop a calf, they hide them really well. So I know the two cows that are gonna calf first for me. This is one of them right here. Let's see. I don't see the other one at the moment. Uh, we'll find her. She must be. Oh, there she is. She's that furthest one. That cow. So those two cows I'm watching really close for them to calf. Because the worst thing you can do is move your cow herd, leave a calf behind. It only takes one or two days. And those, uh, those calves can really either get killed by something or they can starve and get in a bind. And they don't move, they don't bellow when they're one or two days old. They uh, they just kind of lay there hiding and it can be pretty much disastrous. So I'm always careful when I'm moving cows this time of year, when I know there could be calves that could be getting left behind in the pastures. And anybody who's wondering, that's Dollop right there. And no, she is not catching up with the other calves. She seems to pretty much permanently be a super miniature calf. I don't know where exactly it came from, if she stunted from the difficult birth and all she had or what. She is a tiny calf and she is not catching up with the other ones. Now she's healthy, she's solid, she feeds well, 
She's a good looking calf, but she is tiny. And uh, I think we're just gonna have to sell her as like a micro or something like that. She'll definitely be too small to keep into our herd. But anyway, I just moved these cows. I gotta go get a solar charger so I can electrify this fence. And uh, this little paddock here should be enough for one day. And I'll move them uh, each day for the next three or four days, once a day, until I get them back to where I need them Saturday or Sunday when I'm gonna do uh, work all the calves and cow herd. Also, this is the forage that they're eating. It is clover, uh, ryegrass, a few different weeds. My summer grasses are actually starting to green up a tiny bit, but they're not really growing any appreciable amount. It is mostly this type of stuff that's very, very lush. The cows, uh, they actually do extremely well on this stuff. So let's we'll see how it goes the next few months. So you can see it is the very next day, about the same time. And this is that same paddock that we're in. You can see for the most part, it's eating down pretty well. And they're over there bellowing to be moved. So I'm gonna move them to the second little paddock in this row. And uh, it's got a bunch more grass in it. And we will keep on going down the way. All right, so here's my next divider fence. I just kind of moved it over so the cows could get to the water trough on this uh, next little this next little section that we're gonna put them in. So I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna let the cows in for this next paddock. So I know any of you guys that watch our channel know I love this little cheap temporary electric equipment where when I got these short runs, it's pretty easy to uh, get my cows moving <coughs> quick and easy. So. I'm gonna unhook this and let these cows through, see what they do. They love being put on fresh grass. Come on, y'all. You too. It's a good looking little steer calf. A bull calf, he hasn't been steered yet. And we can just hook this back on there. Hook it back up and we are golden. We have cows rotated to fresh pasture. And everybody is happy. So anyway, appreciate you guys being part of the channel. Uh, if you got any questions or comments about anything, leave them below. I'll do my best to answer everything, and I'll see you guys on the next one.